2022 together. Woo! Let me hear you. All right. It's a new year, and with the new year comes new goals, new fun, new experiences, new adventures, new days, new friends, new, 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 new. As we enter the new year, take a moment right now to give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned all year long and make it a New Year's goal to come to Kids Ministry every Sunday morning and Wednesday night at Crossroads Church. As we shift into the newness of a new year, we need to take ownership of our lives that God has given to us. Did you know that our lives and our families are a gift from God? So how do we take ownership? Well, this month we're finding out how we can live with self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Look, let's be honest. Sometimes it's really hard to have self-control. I mean, I know I should stop at just one cookie, but I don't want to, and that's the truth. I know I should take a break from playing my video game, but I'm so close to unlocking the next level. There will always be times when you don't really want to stop. But here's the good news. You don't have to let these moments control you. You have more control than you think. All right, I got this remote control. See, you are in control of the way you act. Just like you can control the TV, the choice is yours. You can choose self-control in your own life, even when you don't want to, because God is always there to help you. With God's help, you can stay in control even when it's difficult and trust Him. It's actually a relief to not be out of control. Let's start with a little game about different buttons that control things. Let's play, what does that button do? I'm gonna show you a button and then you choose what it controls or does. All right, here it is. Button number one, is it A, a mute button, B, power button, or C, moon button? The correct answer is A, mute button. Oh, good job. Here is button number two. This one is a little more tricky. Is it A, an eject button, B, a mute button, or C, a source button? The correct answer is, are you ready? C, source button. This button lets you switch between sources. All right, here's the next one. Is it A, a moon button, B, a voice button, or C, a sleep button? The correct answer is A, a moon button. This button controls the sleep timer. So if you guessed letter C, you were almost correct. Okay, last one. Is it A, CC button, B, eject button, or C, gameplay button? The correct answer is B, eject button. Okay, you guys, I used to play DVDs and we had to press the eject button to get the DVD out of the DVD player. That was so much fun. You guys, it is so much fun to take control of machines like computers remote controllers for the TV or your video game controllers. Then it makes sense it's fun to take ownership and control of our lives too. There's a movie called Inside Out. It's about the emotions that a kid named Riley experiences and man, our emotions can feel overwhelming and we can sometimes allow them to get out of control. Here's a part in the movie where Riley does not have self-control. Ah. So, Riley, how was school? Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Time. For this, we gave up that Brazilian helicopter pilot? Boo! I'll be joy. School was great, all right? Riley, is everything okay? <sighs> Sir, she just rolled her eyes at us. What is her deal? All right, make a show of force. I don't want to have to put the foot down. No, not the foot. Riley, I do not like this new attitude. Oh, I'll show you attitude, okay? No, 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 stay happy! What is your problem? Just leave me alone. Sir, reporting high levels of sass. Take it to DEFCON 2. You heard that, gentlemen? DEFCON 2. Listen, young lady, I don't know where this disrespectful attitude came from. You want a piece of this, Pops? Come and get it! Yeah, well, well... Here it comes. Prepare the foot. Keys to second to position. Ready to launch on your command, sir. Fire! That 
That's it. Go to your room. Now. Ah! Foot is down. The foot is down. Yikes. Is it okay that Riley tells her parents her dad not nice words? No, it is not good behavior to say those words. She felt completely out of control. And I know that at times I have felt out of control just like that. And I'm gonna share a story with you later. But Riley has said mean things, I've said mean things that I regret, and this is where we need God's help to have self-control. The verse I wanna share with you is one for you to memorize this month, here it is. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life, 2 Peter 1.3. Now, whose power has given us everything we need? That's right, God's power. And what does his power help us do? That's right, his power gives us everything we need to lead a godly life. This verse was written by Peter. He's an apostle. He actually was alive with Jesus when Jesus walked on the earth. You guys, I can't even imagine what it would have been like to live with Jesus, to walk with him, to talk with him, I would have loved to have been there even just one day with him. Well, Peter was a fisherman who literally went out on a boat and he fished for a living, right? One day Jesus called him to follow him and Peter said, yes. Peter was a normal guy. So normal, in fact, that he struggled with self-control. He did not always choose the right thing to do. I wanna share a couple of examples of how Peter messed up because it actually makes me feel better that I don't always have self-control, to see a real Jesus follower from the Bible make mistakes. All right, number one, Peter mistrusted Jesus. When Peter and some of the disciples were out on a boat, they got stuck in a storm. And about three o'clock in the morning when they were so frightened, Jesus was walking towards their boat on the water. Here's what happens next. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, Tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and he walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and he began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? Peter mistrusted Jesus, guys. This is called doubt. But Jesus still loves Peter, even though he didn't trust him in this moment. In the same way, Jesus loves us, even though we're not always perfect, even though sometimes we forget to trust him. All right, number two, Peter had an outburst. Have you ever had an outburst? We saw Riley from Inside Out has. I have. Peter has. He was filled with selfishness and he argues with the other disciples about which one of us is the greatest because they all wanted to be the best. And according to Luke, in Luke chapter 22, when Peter was arguing with the others, he has a very loud mouth. Mm. And what was Jesus' response? Jesus doesn't have a meltdown. He doesn't even get frustrated. He didn't get angry in response. Rather, Jesus instructs them and helps them. And this is how Jesus treats us too. Number three, Peter denies he knows Jesus. When Jesus was being questioned by the religious leaders right before he was sentenced to death, which is a really sad but amazing story, here's what happened. Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard and a servant girl came over to him and he said, you were one of those with Jesus the Galilean. But Peter denied it in front of everyone. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Peter basically was embarrassed worried and nervous about being associated with Jesus. Therefore, he said he didn't even know him. Have you ever been embarrassed by your parents? They do or say something you think is a little crazy and you sort of pretend, I don't know you, right? That is denying someone and that's what Peter did. Peter actually did this three times in a row and he felt a lot of shame for doing it. Later, Jesus restores Peter and he forgives him. My point is that Peter did not have ownership over his emotions and over his fears, but he wrote that verse I shared with you. He learned to depend on God's power to lead a godly life. Remember, God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. You guys, when I was a kid, I had a moment of anger where I was actually so frustrated in the fifth grade. 
I lost control. I threw all the stuff on my desk and one of the items happened to be a pair of scissors. Yikes, uh-oh. The scissors flew across my desk to the boy who was irritating me, hit him in the arm. He got cut and it was a mess. I got in big trouble. I actually had to go to the principal's office and everything. You guys, this was all because I was not depending on God's power in that moment. I had to learn to pray for God's help when I would get angry. And I wasn't perfect, and I still make mistakes even today in losing my self-control. But here's the great part. We can learn. Okay, so then in looking at 2022, we also need to be ready to do the right thing. I'm gonna share one goal for 2022 you can choose that will help you do the right thing as you depend on God's power to lead a godly life. Now, I'm not talking about making goals like learning to ride a new bike or figuring out the next level on your video game, but choosing to do what is right, taking care of what God has given you, caring for people around you. We can't just go nuts and do whatever we want or whatever feels right we have to be ready to do the right thing. We will be learning more this month all about this, but let's just start with this one goal. Talk to God every day. That's right, keep it simple. Talk to God every day. Share with Him when you're afraid or angry, and then ask Him to help you and to give you His power. Let's do that right now as we pray. God, I thank you so much for a new year, for new opportunities to live for you, I pray that you would help us to do the right thing, to talk to you every day about all the things that we feel, the good, the bad, the ugly, and help us to trust in your power to lead a godly life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, let's celebrate 2022, the new year together, focusing on our relationship with God. And to continue to grow in Him, watch and even re-watch these videos on our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings in kids ministry. All right, you guys, happy new year.